Hello friends, this video on atom and molecules part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What is the history of atomic mass for a given? Now let's see average atomic mass. What is average atomic mass? See, we have so many isotopes of oxygen, for example, 16, 17, 18, right? So let's suppose oxygen 16, oxygen 17, oxygen 18. Oxygen 16 is 99 percent and this is let's suppose 0.5 percent this is 0.5 percent. I don't know the exact figure so I'm just putting some values. So if you talk about the average atomic mass that means atomic mass of any oxygen sample which you will get it will have 99 percent oxygen 16. So it will have 99 by 100 into 16 plus 0.5 percent of 17 plus 0.5 percent of so this will be the average atomic mass okay because this is the average of atomic mass of all the isotopes in a given sample and since in the chemical world when you talk about oxygen you talk about only oxygen right when you talk about oxygen in the lab when you react for example when you burn a matchstick so their uh, carbon is reacting with oxygen to form CO2 or is carbon. So in that case the oxygen that is used to burn carbon is the atmospheric oxygen and atmospheric oxygen if you see this is the atmospheric oxygen has O16 also, O17 also, O18 also right and all these have different atomic mass. So which mass should we take? So we take average average based on the proportion we know oxygen 16 is 99 percent oxygen 17 is almost 0.5 oxygen 18 is almost 0.5 so we take average of this and we get some value mostly 16 point some value maybe 0 2 3 i'm not sure of the exact value some value will come and that is the average atomic mass for oxygen similarly for all the elements you can find the average atomic mass right that is the average of atomic mass of all the isotopes available in the nature Right, based on the percentage of their availability. Okay. Now the question is, we talked about atom, we talked about size, we talked about weight of the atom. Now the question is, can atom exist independently like a bird or any anything which exists independently? Is it possible? See, most of the atoms, they don't exist independently. They exist as molecules and or ions. Molecules or ions. And this is for the most. But some do exist independently. For example, helium, argon, they all noble gas, so they exist independently. But for example, if you talk about sodium, Na+, Cl-, these are all ions. We talked O2, we talked about H2. So in this O2 we have two oxygen atom, H2 we have two hydrogen atom, and these are molecules. Or water also you see. Okay, so most of them won't exist independently, but few of them, for example, helium, argon, mostly noble gas they exist independently most of the atoms right? most of the atoms exist in the form of molecules or ions and why we'll study all about these in higher classes when you talk about the stability of ions why sodium atom is not stable but sodium ion is stable there are reasons behind it there are reasons there are scientific reasons for this why chlorine atom is not stable but chlorine ions is stable that to be the negative charge negative charge that means it has taken electron uh, for now leave it maybe in the next chapter we'll talk about the atoms we'll touch upon these a little bit but in the higher classes you will study about these things okay let's take some questions here why it is not possible to see atom with the naked eyes see these atoms are very small they are very small very tiny actually and they are measured in nanometer 10 to the power minus 9 meter so small they are so small that actually you can't see through negatives okay. why because see uh, 
this is also a little advanced concept for anything to see the way it works is you have a light maybe sunlight or any other light light and this object which you want to see light will come and will get reflected by the object and then if it's reflected by the object then your eye this is your eye as you mean then you can see it but if the particle is so small right that it it will not reflect the light it will just pass through then you'll not be able to see the, see the object you will understand these concepts in the higher classes thus understand that this is very small so the light will not be able to reflect uh, the object will not be able to reflect the light and thus you will not be able to see using naked eyes you will not be able to see using naked eyes you need some high instruments spectrometer or high quality instruments to see this ok thank you Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.